Driver! I know nothing! Don't worry, most of my staff are morons. But not you! I like you a lot! Wait, I did that wrong. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I have a job for you. Get to the Crescent Park Wharf. Now! Polite as ever. Are you there yet? Yeah. This job was meant to be for Feng, but I can't find him. Or Li, or Fu, or Ping. Maybe they're all getting coffee? Are you saying my coffee is bad? No! Something's up, and the only men I have left are you. And this bunch of dregs! <gasps> so, with all my most trusted employees missing, you're going to have to do the job for me. What is it? I'll give you the details later. No one can know about this. Just take my boat from the wharf and get to Apollo Island. Now! Ellie, I'm on another job for Chan, and I get the feeling it won't be just a sports car this time. I'm headed to Apollo Island. What on earth could Rex want Chan to get from there? No idea. But this feels like a clue to me, Ellie. A big, fat clue. I'll update you once I know more. Have you got to Apollo Island, driver? Yes, sir. Good. I want you to steal a moon buggy. What? Well, what did you think I sent you to Apollo Island for? Ice cream? Would have been nice. Just get into the space center and steal a moon buggy! I should find a disguise so I can get into the space center.
Take care. <gasps> Maybe I'll even find a spacesuit. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Go for a burger. Sheesh, that is one small step, Foreman. Perfect. While they're all busy working on the shuttle, I can just get to the moon buggy, which is somewhere around there. Uh, in the middle of the shuttle. Ellie, Chan wants me to take a moon buggy. Wow. Yeah. But I can't get to it because it's in the shuttle surrounded by mechanics, and I'm in the control room. Maybe you can do something to get their attention. That's the last thing I want, isn't it? No, because then they'll have to come to the control room, meaning you can sneak into the hangar. Okay. I'll just try pressing some buttons then. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Having your atoms scrambled by a teleport kind of tickles.
So I guess flying a rocket is basically the same as being in a rodeo. It looks like this track's got a hole in it. Sheesh! Glad my watch doesn't take a battery this size. Now to find some way of getting all those workers out of the hangar. That might get their attention. I hope that vent up there leads to the hangar. Whoa! Power levels have dropped off the scale. All engineering staff return to the control room. Ooh, I wonder if my driving license covers space rockets. Ellie. How do I get the moon buggy out of the shuttle? There should be a button you can press to open its delivery bay. And that'd need power to work, right? Yeah. Why? I think I broke the power supply back there. And now the control room is full of people. Right. Hang on. It's okay. There should be some high-powered lasers in the hangar. You can use them to power up the shuttle. Wow. There is literally nothing you can't find with these online encyclopedias. Okay. Anything else I should know? The annual rainfall in Lego City? Thanks, Ellie. Laser 1, connected. Thank you. 
Sylvia. Laser 2, connected. Limited shuttle systems, activated. my car! It's not your car! You are so possessive! Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his. Come on! Chance men better be waiting for me at the dock! Driver, bad news. My men aren't waiting for you at the dock. Yeah, I can see that. They're running late. And by running late, I mean... Still sat here on their behinds! <gasps> oh, they've actually gone. <gasps> Who am I going to shout at now? They'll be here soon, right? I guess so. Just don't let the moon buggy get damaged until they get there. Oh, I'm going out to the street so I can yell at some strangers. See you, driver.
About time, guys. We'll take it from here. Don't follow us. <laughs> <laughs> 